Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day because any day one can be out on. Two wheels is a beautiful day. And today, I'm in my garage as you can see, so actually I'm doing the next best thing to riding and that's talking about what changes have I done and what updates to this bike have I done. You probably notice a few things right away here and this all this this whole rack mounting system for the top case yeah I did that but first of all first things first you guys voted on which set of tires I should change to next so I replaced the, the uh, Michelin's with these yes Metzler Rotec 01 SE's got number one in the voting but close behind the Metzler's a Pirelli Angel GT's you guys voted so I kind of actually wanted the Angel GTs because I've had that on my Super Duke R and I love the performance of them and still the durability. Uh, but I said in that review, you guys vote and whichever one gets the number one votes, that's the next set of tires I put on. So I'm holding to my word. You guys voted Metzler's, so that's what I put on there. Now I've got about a thousand kilometers on it. These, these new tires and can I tell the difference between the Michelin's to be quite honest with you no I can't guys it's the ride the handling performance uh, turn in braking uh, can't tell the difference although it's fall and it's getting cold and so maybe it's best that I didn't stick the Angel GTs on here for the winter and and I'm going with the more uh, wet cold tire here over the winter so hopefully by spring I'll have six seven thousand kilometers on these tires and then in spring I'll switch to the Angel GTs <laughs> then after that I don't know I'll ask you guys to vote again on which I should have I should go to not no, not the Michelin's not the uh, uh, Metzler's and not the Pirelli's then maybe you guys could vote on anything like a Conti or something like that uh, to put on here I don't know uh, but that's next. The Angel GT is after these, so no more voting for that, guys. <laughs> what else have I changed on this bike? I got the bags uh, for it, finally came there. I already got a ding on it. Uh, and the top case with, yeah, look at this massive top rack here. 700 euros for this rack and the case and the installation. I'm glad I didn't do it. Yeah, I probably could have, but yeah, I didn't. Uh, also what's new look right here the ram mount a quick grip see how this you just slide your cell phone in there and it goes in just nice and neat I would do it but it's actually recording me right now and this is the wireless charger look at there yeah you push this button oh no I guess I gotta have it plugged in first there we go now you push this button oh it was on there now it's red now it's yellow red so now all you do is put your cell phone on there and it charges wirelessly. Uh, and then you just turn it off and it's off. That will take a Samsung 8 or newer and an Apple iPhone, I think 10 or 9 or whatever the Apple's, I don't know, I'm not an Apple fanatic. So uh, Also you see here, yeah, what is this? This and then a little key here, this is RAM mount security so nobody can take this off. It just as long as it's in the locked position it just turns and turns and turns but now then you unlock it and then it grabs the threads and then you can unscrew it and then take this so it's a little secure thing there although that is kind of huge isn't it guys yeah that does look kind of huge and also I hooked up this here the uh, USB port wire here that you can see there and I went right over here down through the seat and connect to the battery uh, and you can see here I have a mirror mount from RAM mounts here I'll put the install this here and record that one and then also show you how I wired to the battery on this bike so in case you guys want to do the same thing all right let's get into the details let's take this and mount this to the mirror although I think I will do it like about right there because I want the GoPro 360 camera that is now on my chest that I'm looking at there to go right here like that yeah okay so let's do that first let's do this here that goes that way this goes this way that yeah, should be enough and take this off come on come on 
There we go. And put this on like this. And then back down. There we go. That's it. Yeah, that's about right. And then let's pull this boot down. Uh, like that. And there we go. Now the ram mount is mirror ram mirror mount is installed right there okay now let's uh take up because i have my gv quick tank locking system here i gotta take this off first so let's take that off okay now that i got that off now let's take these off shall we three see this is actually fairly easy Now this should just pull right up, yep, there we go, uh, you guys heard that piece, yeah that was this piece here. So all this is, this piece here is, is it has these three clips, this clip, this clip, this clip. So one goes in here, one here, and one here, and so that's all you're pulling up while well, in here and here too, and then here and here. So really, all these clips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clip in points. But so you have the four bolts, one, two, three, four, there. And there we go. That was easy. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Every easy is relative. So once you do that, then you can run the wire. Okay, so I have the wires connected here. See the little pigtail there, a little, and then another one coming off right there, you can see there. Then I just ran it right through here and coming up underneath here. And yeah, this just, uh, I, I've already clipped it in and the battery went dead. And then here's the wire coming out here. And then I just tuck it in like this. I did a little zip tie there and then into here. See, in here is the uh, uh, connection to where I could <clears throat> pull it apart like that or put it back together and then attach a, maybe a two USB porter here if I wanted to, because this is 12 volts. And there. Now, with the wire running in here, right behind there and then up through here, now, let's put this on here like this, there we go. Okay, now she's down. Uh, and then you can see just a little bit there of wires. I, I want it to be kind of loose so I got a little bit to play with there. Let's double check to make sure it still works. Let's turn it on. There, the light comes on, good, okay. And off, oops, now I turned the bike on, <laughs> off. I like how Ram Mounts has this to the bar, you can see that. And it's actually like a little quarter circle on the bottom of this so that it fits. I hope the GoPro picks that up. And then you just do two zip ties, boom, boom. And I got a zip tie here right here if I come around here there uh, and that's and then, and then one more zip tie down here and then I, I go right here and then this moto power USB port is zip tied yeah, let me turn it there right there dunk, dunk. so I have one two three four five six little zip ties and if I want to take it off just click clip 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 six clips boom pull it right off and so it's semi-permanent and of course the locking wheel here for the ram mount and uh, there let's shut her off okay that's not on good okay okay now that everything is on here guys let me throw the seat on and my comfort seat there we go oh and the bags how easy is this 
put this top case right here done ouch that hurt there there's the top case two side bags are just as easy here I'll put one on the far side so you guys can see it I think I have the correct one so you just walk this over like this you put in like this and oh, I need the key 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 Oh, I gotta make sure I turn it the right way. There we go, and then down, down, and then back. There, ta ta ta. It's actually that fast. So, uh, and then opens up, and the rear. Uh, you can see here. Push that in there. Oh no, oh, this is locked. Okay, let me unlock it. There push and open there we go so there's the side case and the top case pretty easy okay guys now how does this wireless charger from ram mounts work on the street uh, and also with it how does it work now in unison with the turn-by-turn -turn directions and with the BMW connected app let's take a look all right guys this is it let's see what does this take to put this in here you just do this done I think you, you can do this with one hand too can't you let's see if we can do this with one hand oh, I guess you can and then you can lock it down with this strap back, back here like this and that'll just lock it down now even though my bike's not on Turn the power on to the charger. Let's see if it, oh, there it is. Yeah, 41%. That's the nice thing about this phone, wireless charger, is that I don't care where, what my battery level is on this phone. I just do it. I don't care. Now that's on. Is the phone connected yet? Well, let's see. Why isn't... Let's see if the app will connect. So I just turned the BMW app on. Up oh, there. Now it is. You see it right there. The phone and it's telling me the battery... It's telling me the battery level. And also the uh, reception that my phone has. Okay, let's do this. Where are we going to go today, guys? Let's go to Favorites. Let's go to Alt Astenberg Cafe. Winding route. Say go. Now watch. Oh, there. Ha 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 It switched automatically. Now the thing I like about this is that it did it automatically and it shows you. So here you have the turn by turn. So it's 89 kilometers here. It has 90 kilometers. Uh oh. So who's right? <laughs> the BMW app and my cell phone GPS or <laughs> BMW on <laughs> the motorcycle? See, this says 90 kilometers. That says 89 kilometers. <laughs> okay, let's let's go check this out, shall we, guys? The thing I like about this BMW app is it's showing you where it is you're going and where you need to turn. This tells you where, so 100 meters. This shows you like a normal navigation device. And this is also why I use this in conjunction with this. Now this app, if you use it in conjunction with your cell phone, the display, it totally replaces a Navi, a Garmin, let's say. So this this turn-by-turn uh, turn is nice. Uh, when you get into these little villages, because uh, it can be confusing. Like here, it says go straight. Okay, let's go straight. And here, it just keeps says go straight for 4.1 kilometers. But there's a whole bunch of little 
roads and turns and avoidances that you need to do. See, so now the speed limit's only 30. That's why I'm doing 33. <laughs> but here, like here's the first, you've got a set of streets coming up here. And which way do I go? You know, because here it's not always apparent where to go. But this, it shows me where I'm going. Well, now the next one, stay right, not left. You see? Although this says go straight. So how many of you, if you just had that, would have gone the other way? I probably would have gone the other way. But this is showing me, no, 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 this way. And that's why I like this, this little app. See, but this is all one road, so the turn-by-turn -turn says, well, you're going to be on this for another three and a half kilometers. Even though there's a whole bunch of little roads that you turn and go through. And it's sometimes hard to tell, as you guys can see there. So, for this app, with the turn-by-turn -turn directions, boom, boom. This is why I got the wireless charger. Alright guys, my next change will be windscreen. I'm thinking about the, the, the Wunderlich or the, the GV screens, the bigger, wider screen uh, to put on here over the winter, maybe next month or so. I Christmas present to myself or something like that. We'll see. Uh, early Christmas, really, really early Christmas present. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. I do read your guys' comments. It just may take me a few days to answer your questions. Uh, and if you have a question that's on a more personal level, just email me, no problem. Although that might take me a few days to check that too, to get back with you with those personal questions. All right, guys. As always, guys, number one and most important is ride safe. And number two, guys, ride like there's nothing to prove. Take care. Cheers.